My guests are Jeannie Dufour and Diana Black. Uh, ladies, welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. We're here to talk about Listen Up Brunswick County, and it's a fairly new concept. Yes. And I want our audience to know as much about it as we can get in just a few minutes. So tell us about the idea of Listen Up Brunswick County. Listen Up Brunswick County is a group of music-loving volunteers. We're a nonprofit organization, and our mission is very simply stated, good music, good deeds. Mm -hmm. We're bringing professional touring musicians that tour all over the country and internationally to Brunswick County. Um, this was a result of when I moved here two years ago, my husband and I had been music lovers back in Connecticut. Our little library began a concert series as a fundraiser and we became very involved in that. As a result of that we were um, at many many venues within a couple of hours of our home location. When we moved down here to Brunswick County we found there unfortunately wasn't a lot of that type of music available. We had to travel to Raleigh or uh, Columbia a distance in order to hear these musicians that we had come to love. So uh, we decided to do something about it and some of our music loving friends that we've met, <laughs> Diana, one of them, uh, got together and kicked off our first season last year, a very successful season. We had um, uh, four concerts at the Holden Beach Chapel and were able to raise money in support of the Brunswick County Homeless, Homeless Coalition. Coalition. Great, absolutely great. Diana, tell, give us some examples of, of the type of music that we're talking about. Americana is, think of it as a, a basket. It has um, a lot of American roots music in it, and by that we mean rhythm and blues, uh, the Delta. G give some examples too of the yeah, uh, folk Ameri music. Yes, the Americana sound originated, tra can be traced back to roots music from the Appalachian Man. Mountains from the Delta Sound, a the Delta Dust Bowl, Blues. Uh, Woody Guthrie. Uh, absolutely, high. absolutely. Uh, uh, the Cajun Sound, mm -hmm. Memphis Sound, even Native American music. And uh, early in the 20th century, during the Dust Bowl and the Depression, um, people migrated to the larger cities, New York, LA, right. Chicago, and that's when that melding of that, those sounds began. Right. So what's the goal of your organization? What do you aspire to do? Basically two things. Bring great music to Brunswick County and at the same time support uh, those people in need in the county. Can you give us some examples of some of the uh, entertainers that you hope to have in the months and years to come? Yes. Um, sure. As a matter of fact, our schedule is set for our 2000. 14-15 season. We start in October Great. and the first concert will be with Jack Williams who is an amazing guitarist. Jack's been touring for over 50 years and I encourage anybody that comes to the show to try to get there early so they can sit way up front and see the magic that happens. <laughs> in addition to that, do not leave early because at the end of every show Jack does an unrehearsed medley of songs off the top of his head that will cover every genre imaginable, something that you will not soon wow. forget. Now our viewers at this point are asking themselves, what were those dates again and who are those entertainers? So let's get that website out there once, once or several times during this interview, please. You can go to listenupbrunswickcounty.com mm -hmm. and we list all of the shows that we'll be uh, playing. We list, give some information about the artists that are there, plus links to their specific websites, so you can do a little bit of Great. homework if you want sure. to find out about them. Sure. So it's kind of exciting. We're also going to be listing information about this year's beneficiary of our net proceeds, which is going to be the New Hope Clinic, so there'll be Fantastic. a link to them. That's wonderful. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now, the, uh, the cost? The ticket price this year is twenty-three fifty, and that includes um, a new sales and local tax of six point seven five percent. We've had to <laughs> include in our costs. I understand. Um, and that is uh, for tickets purchased up until one week before the show. Right. After that, the price goes up by a couple dollars. We are encouraging people to, to buy early. It Good just idea. helps the right. cause a great deal. It Absolutely. saves us. 
from uh, high blood pressure. Now, do you have a different location, or are you still at the Holden Beach Chapel? The first two loca the first two concerts will be at the Holden Beach Chapel. After that, we are going to have to update the website because we're not positive where those shows are going to be. Okay. Depending on the ticket sales and uh, the number of musicians, so Holden Beach Chapel um, trustees have been wonderful, wonderful. absolutely wonderful, mm -hmm. um, and supportive. So. Um, and the acoustics there are fabulous. Yeah, um, right. We just, <clears throat> depending on how large our group is and how many tickets we sell, we may have to move on. But the goal is that we want to keep it a small venue so it remains intimate. Mm -hmm. There's nothing more wonderful than being present when a musician is playing but really seeing it. I agree. Watching the, the fingering going on with the guitar or whatever they're doing, you know, whatever other instruments. It's really exciting to see and to be a part of. I agree. Mm -hmm. We also have the opportunity then to mingle with the performers yes. at intermission sure. and after the and show. After the show. So, so generous with their yeah. time that way. Again, remind our viewers of the uh, time and place of your next event. The first event of the season mm -hmm. will be October 10th with Jack Williams at the Holden Beach Chapel Fellowship Hall at 107 Rothschild Street, Holden Beach. The doors open at 7. The show starts at 7.30 sharp. Ladies, uh, thank you for being with us. I've really enjoyed it. Thank Thanks so, so much. much.